Ignition and adjustment of the PN series pneumatic modulating burners. Pneumatic modulation is done through the gas valve. The valve through three pressure ports, air pressure to combustion head, pressure of the combustion chamber, and gas pressure to combustion head constantly self-adjusts the combustion air-gas ratio in all modulation points. Warning, the video is only for didactic purpose. The indications given may not be correct for all applications. Carefully read the use and maintenance manual supplied with the burner before carrying out any operation. The burner assembly and adjustment procedures described in the video must be performed by BALTA authorized technicians only. The ignition consists of two phases, pre-adjustment with no flame and adjustment with flame. Pre-adjustment with no flame. In this phase, we will describe the main operations and pre-adjustments to be carried out before starting the burner. Make sure there are no gas leaks in the pipe. Check that the ramp inlet pressure is suitable to the valve model used. Use the plastic pipes supplied with the burner to connect the valve PF combustion and PL air pressure ports to the combustion head and burner air pressure ports respectively. On the other hand, the gas pressure port is already assembled by Balta. Position the pipe for back pressure detection inside combustion chamber flush with burner nozzle. Use an Allen wrench to move the adjustment screw N to zero. And the adjustment screw V to one. Pre-adjust the air servo motor cams. Position cam 1 maximum opening to 60 degrees. Position cam 2 air total closing to 0 degrees. Position cam 3, minimum opening to 10 degrees. Adjust cam 4, ignition point to 20 degrees. Adjustment with flame. In this phase, we will start and adjust the burner. If the ignition is correct and the detector detects the flame, adjust the burner. The burner starts on the suitable ignition cam. Manually set the burner to minimum cam position. Use the suitable combustion analyzer to check the fumes. Adjust the combustion ratio by increasing or decreasing the gas using the adjustment screw N. 
Turn the screw clockwise to increase the gas quantity or counterclockwise to decrease it. Make sure there is no carbon monoxide in the combustion fumes. Bring the burner to maximum power. Use the adjustment screw V to increase or decrease the gas until the correct combustion values are reached. Adjust the combustion oxygen between 3.5 and Set the burner back to minimum power. Use the adjustment screw N again to adjust the gas quantity after changing the maximum. Always adjust the oxygen quantity between 3.5 and 5.5%. Warning! Every time there is a variation to the minimum or to the maximum using the two adjustment screws V and N, always check again what previously adjusted. All the intermediate points of the curve between servo motor minimum and maximum opening will be now already self-calibrated by the valve. Go back to burner maximum position. Read the gauge to measure the amount of burned gas cubic meters. Make sure that the delivered power matches the boiler furnace power. If the burned power needs to be changed, use the maximum cam of the air servo motor. By increasing the maximum cam opening, the pneumatic valve detects the air increase on the combustion head and the variation of the back pressure. It increases the gas opening in order to self-adjust. Decrease the maximum opening cam in order to decrease the power. The same procedures can be done to the minimum power by working on the servo motor minimum cam. Now the burner will start modulation using a properly configured load controller. 